Hey everybody, welcome to episode 13. What's my day like today? Tonight I've got a gig at Tamaya. I'm going to shoot a drone video about waypoint flying. I'm probably not going to include too much of that in the vlog. Working on customers' computers today. And uh, what else are we doing? I'm losing the battle with the mice. I don't get it. They're like avoiding my trap like the plague. They chewed into my granola bag again. Hold on, check this out. Look at this. Look how much they chewed to try and get into these peanuts here. I mean, this was like last night or the night before. So clearly, I am losing the battle with the mice. I have reset the trap again. This time I'm trying to use that factory OEM trap. I put some granola in it. Wish me luck. Okay, this is weird. Look what seems to have fallen out of the tree at my house. It's a round stick. It looks like the makings, maybe, of a bird's nest. Is that possible? I don't see any birdies up there. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. On my way to the gig. Playing out at the Tamaya Resort and Hotel and Casino. Well, it's not really a casino. But it's a hotel and a resort. I can't believe I binge watched Casey Neistat vlogs till like 3.30 in the morning. But I was, at the same time, working on a customer's computer. So while I do that, I watch a little Casey until almost 4 in the morning. All right, I, I'm not sure who makes this. I think it's a Ziploc company, but it's a 4-inch bowl. You can see it's on a kind of a squarish sort of bowl. This is essentially perfect for cleaning your French press. Check it out. Look at that fit. It's like perfect. So all you do, put a little water in there, pump the French press a little bit, and there you go. A nice, clean French press. Oh yeah. You know, of course, it's always something. You know, I'm trying to do this freaking vlog and the camera won't level out because of this cheap piece of crap stand because these little things need to be filed down so so the camera will level out it's a real piece of crap shame on me for buying such a piece of crap look the camera won't level out it, you can see against the horizon there it's like no matter how much I push it down it just pops back up what a piece of crap alright so looks like I'm gonna file this down so the camera will level out what a piece of crap Good. Life hacks. Don't you hate it when you're in the kitchen and your nose starts running? Oh, that makes me mad. Do I go all the way into the bedroom to get tissues? Do I go all the way into the bathroom to get tissues? What's a fella to do? Well, what I do is I just go in the drawer, 
pull out a couple of sheets of toilet paper and blow my nose. Oh, that's good. All right, time for a rant. Dear retail slash manufacturing industry, what's the deal with this freaking packaging? Why does it gotta be so bulletproof? Why do I have to have like a pair of scissors and a piece of dynamite to get into this? Like, there's instructions in here. Screw that, you know? I'm just, uh, just gonna cut through, look at this. Uh. God, if they made cars out of this stuff, you'd be able to run them into a brick wall at a thousand miles an hour. I know I'm not the first person to complain about this. I'm like the million. You can go online and look for complaints or rants about packaging. It's insane, the amount of, whatever. If you recall in episode eight, we explored the myth of expiration dates. But then a week later, in episode 11, we revisited our dairy products just to double see if they were still fresh four weeks past the expiration date. Now in this episode, we're gonna revisit our heavy whipping cream five weeks after the expiration date. Let's check it out. As always, first we must conduct the smell test. Oh, that smells good. Now for the taste test. That's good. So here we are, five weeks past the expiration date, and our heavy whipping cream is still delicious. <laughs> Okay, here's another great website, PayPal. I'm presently in the middle of a claim. Do I want to cancel the claim? Yes, I finally received my items. Cancel the claim. Reason, I have received my items. Okay, uh, do I want to cancel this? No, no, I don't want to cancel the cancellation. So this must be where I want to go. Go to complaint details. Oh great, now I'm back on the page I was just on. Cancel the claim. Do I want to cancel my cancellation? No, no, I don't. Let's go on to complaint details. Oh crap, I want to cancel this claim. So look, eBay, the word cancel is ubiquitous for canceling whatever you're doing, not canceling a claim. So instead of just saying cancel, why don't you say cancel this claim or use some other syntax or continue to cancellation. This cancel's stupid. So I assume if I click cancel, this will actually cancel the claim and not cancel the cancellation of the canceling of the cancellation canceller. But of course it doesn't work. Whatever. More, more crappy websites. Come on. Here we go. Finally. 